you guys. Today we're going to do the five things worth buying tag. I've seen it going around the YouTube community and was I tagged in it? No. It's just like high school. She doesn't even go here. So I took the liberty of tagging myself in this video. I really like the idea of all the budgeting YouTubers coming out and actually saying things that they do buy that are expensive but are worth it to them. So here are my five things that are expensive but worth buying. Number one is new professional clothing and really nice shoes. For me, having a professional wardrobe is very essential because I work a day job, I run my own business, and I work in theater, so I always have to present myself in a nice professional way that shows directors and people that they want to work with me. Also, I feel like just having a professional wardrobe will suit anyone regardless of what you do for a living. And I know there are other places that you can go and buy clothes that have been maybe used or on sale or whatnot but for me I like to just have one set of clothes that I know don't have any stains or close to ripping or tearing or anything else like that I know they look great they will suit me and they typically will last a lot of the clothes in my professional closet I have had for three to four years so when it comes to professional clothes it's definitely quality over quantity. Number two is a gym membership. I know a lot of people say just go outside, just use the internet, this or that. But for me, I like to have a gym membership. That way I know if I want to get out of the house, I can go to the gym. If it's raining, I can still go for a run. And the gym I go to is $20 a month, so essentially $5 a week. And it has a full calendar of classes. They have like Zumba, cardio, cycling, uh, yoga. They have all these different classes and they're available every single day. So if I went to one class a week and three gym sessions, that's basically a dollar twenty-five a visit. And I also shower in there and sometimes I'll just pack up my work bag, go to the gym, shower and dress and go straight to the office. So for me, gym membership, totally worth it. Number three are massages. Now, hear me out I only get two to three of these a year and they really help me since I spend so much time in my professional job sitting in an office or in meetings so my back and shoulders will typically ache after a few weeks of doing that chronically over and over and over so I set milestones for myself if I run a 5k when I hit 5,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel when we had a big project at work be completed and successfully completed those are things that I will, you know, make a gift for myself and say, okay, you did a great job, you spent those extra X amount of hours at the office, or you hit that number of subscribers, or you hit 200 videos on your channel. That is when I will set aside a massage. I know they're expensive, but they are worth it to me because I come out of them and I feel so much better. My back and shoulders don't hurt as much, and then I get to set my next milestone. Number four is central air conditioning and heating. I live in the Midwest where we experience extremes of all four seasons. Well, really just summer and winter because Ohio doesn't know when to make it spring or fall sometimes. But regardless to me, I will sleep so much better. I'll feel so much better if I am not, you know, boiling hot in the summer or freezing in the winter. I don't go to any extremes. Like I don't put on the heater when it's 50 degrees outside. I wait till it's a really cold temperature and I'm just uncomfortable in my house. Same with the heat. If it is any lower than like 75 outside, I will not put the AC on. I'll actually just open the windows and let the air come in and circulate. But I do use my air conditioning and my heater. And number five is no surprise to anyone in a basic white girl's dream, it is Starbucks. I know it's not the cheapest option, but to me, there is one everywhere I go. I have the app for it. There is a drive through for it. I know exactly what I'm going to get every single time. And for me personally, the baristas in my area know me because I edit a lot of these videos at their coffee shops. And the day I hit 5,000 subscribers, they actually celebrated with me. They gave me like a free drink when I didn't have one. And they just said, congratulations. We see you in here working so much and you write emails and you edit and you, you know, speak to people. You do all this work for just your nice little hobby. And here is a drink for you. And once again, I know it's not for everyone. I know it's not in everybody's budget, but for me, that one treat that just makes it just a little bit more enticing to just go and get that editing done makes it worth it. Anyway, those are my top five expensive things that I think are worth buying. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what certain things you buy that are expensive but are totally worth it to you. And if you are watching this unsubscribed, click that little red subscription button down below. It will update you each and every time I upload a video on this channel. And when it comes to tagging people in this YouTube tag, 
I tag everyone who is watching this. If you watch this video and want to make a tag video of your own, please link it down below in the comments and then I will take it and I will put it in my end screen. I will put it with like my other videos and I'll link it down below in my description box. So we will have like an unofficial collaboration together. Doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, doesn't matter how many views you have, doesn't matter to me. If you would like to be featured on this tag video, make a response to it. Uh, tag it down below, tag it down below, comment it down below, I will watch it, and then I will put it at the end of this video in my end screen. So, you are all invited to make a top five things that are expensive that you think are worth buying video. Thank you so much for watching mine, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, are you expensive? Are you worth buying? Always. She's not really that expensive though. Are you being?